when we talk about the state of gpus in 2025 one thing is absolutely clear we are desperate at least i am desperate for more memory desperate for alternatives to nvidia and desperate for someone anyone to break the monopoly right now if you want to train large ai models nvidia controls the game their gpus are powerful but their prices are astronomical and the supply is so constrained that entire industries are stuck waiting. That's why every new rumor, every leak and every prototype coming out of China immediately gets people talking and that includes me too. If you have been following my channel, you know that I am very keen to have some alternative to Nvidia in terms of price and availability. Nothing against NVIDIA, it's just that I just want to have some affordable GPU for everyone so that we could easily run these models and AI powered agents locally with all privacy without selling a kidney. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So recently I have been scouring internet social media sites especially twitter to just to see if we could find some hope some uh, kindling of if anyone is releasing anything and i just stumbled upon this tweet and i will drop the link to this person in video description too i uh, seems quite legit to me because they have been showing some tests and other things now this seems quite unbelievable to me um, not in terms of that I don't trust this, just in terms of that it seems too good to be true. A custom Chinese-made variant of NVIDIA's flagship RTX 5090 that doesn't just stop at the stock 32 GB of GDDR7 memory, it pushes all the way to 128 GB VRAM. Yes, you heard that right. That's four times the VRAM at a price that more than six times higher than retail too, by the way. And I will tell you the price shortly. What does this really mean? Is China finally cloning GPUs? Are we looking at a miracle alternative or just a Frankenstein experiment? This is the topic of this video because this might have far reaching implications. This particular GPU card is over 10,000 US dollars, I think around 13,000 or something, which is totally unaffordable. And it is just a prototype by the way to be upfront so that um, you don't think that it is available in the market at the moment. Now, I'm not really keen on this GPU or this custom made stuff. What I'm keen on is that if this is true, which seems it is, then it means that there is every hope, every chance that we might see custom made GPUs with support NVIDIA architecture, which means it supports CUDA, which means that we can run any modern or future model without any porting, without any hack on cheaper, affordable custom GPUs. And to be fair, it is not a new thing. We all know that factories in China have been repurposing consumer NVIDIA and other GPUs, especially in gaming into as into gaming and AI focused hardware for years and years now. During the 4090 era, we saw 24 GB cards modded into 48 GB and even experimental 96 GB versions. They were, they were not official NVIDIA products and they were essentially salvage operations. Engineers would take the GPUs, mount them onto custom PCBs and solder on extra memory chips. It's not just about adding more modules, firmware and BIOS have to be rewritten so the system even recognizes a card. Cooling solutions also have to be redesigned, often using workstation style blower design to fit server racks and there are few other technologies there. So if you go through this to it and if I just display this image on the screen, I will drop the link to it in video's description too. So this leaked RTX 5090 prototype follows the same playbook as far as I can see. There is not much information available. <clears throat> in the stock configuration, the RTX 5090 ships with 32 GB of GDDR7 memory. 
that is already a huge leap compared to the 24 GB RTX 4090. But Chinese models are claiming to have expanded that to 128 GB by using dual-sided PCBs and higher density chips. The problem is, as memory vendors stand today, 32 GB GTDR7 modules don't exist commercially. So either these shops somehow sourced unreleased components or they built something far less elegant, splicing together available chips in a way NVIDIA never intended. Uh, now, what are the legal ramifications of it? I'm not really sure. But as I said that these have been built for years and years and years now. So I will not get into, get into that. My purpose is not to really go into the rabbit hole of this thing, but just to have an idea that if this is possible, what we are seeing on the screen, it means that these Chinese labs or any other labs would be or could be able to create a replica or clone of NVIDIA card, which is CUDA compatible from scratch, because we all know CUDA is the blocker at the moment. So if you look at this image, we can see that this card being recognized under uh, NVIDIA's official driver, showing a staggering 120, uh, 2880 uh, mib of memory. That's not, I mean, uh, that is unbelievable. So, and it seems that the card is running in Linux with CUDA enabled. Now, I think this is just a prototype because you see GPU consumption is nothing. Maybe they haven't loaded any model yet on it, but I'm not going to go into that one. Um, look, it is just a rumor. It, it is just a prototype, nothing available. So I'm not going to spend much more time on it. If you want, you can just look at this um, data card because NVIDIA RTX 5090, the actual one is just 3000. And if I have to buy, I will just go still go with the original one. I'm not big. Uh, I'm, I have never used any modded one. I would not recommend it. And my whole purpose is that this architecture could be replicated by any lab from scratch and then build a new GPU, which is also CUDA compatible. That is the whole purpose there. Whether that is possible or not, maybe AMD could do something there and help us out because we are desperate for a GPU. But if these GPUs are still in the range of like 3000, 5000, 10,000, then especially people outside of US and in developing countries, I think that is a big no, no. So that is where, um, you know, things stand today. Still, I would say long way to go to challenge our uh, friends monopoly. Hopefully, you know, they might, uh, come up with something cheaper and available but doesn't seem like it in any near time future i also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our good friend at iGent which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application which empowers you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks that's it Please like the video and subscribe and please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.